Welcome to my home lab tour. In this video, I will be showing you the services that I run on my virtual machines, as well as my monitoring tools and how I use the cloud for to keep everything running smoothly. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm just going to run through and uh, show everything that I currently run on my server and uh, projects that I'm working with. So first I'm going to go directly to my server here uh, using remote desktop and uh, these are all the virtual machines I have running. I got a all-star demo which was my old all-star demo before I had to upgrade to a new one. This is my firewall right here. I run on Tangled Firewall. Yes, I run it in a virtual machine on the server. It works great for me. This is my free PBX that I'm just trying to play around with, have it running here. Uh, this used to be my old firewall. Proxmox running here. This is what's uh, hosting my Radio Geek website, which is radiogeek.xyz. This is uh, the Ubuntu server of it that I decided to go with Windows Server. But again, this is my all-star node 57686 for Amateurinia. Ubuntu Server 1. Uh, this, I run Kuma on my Ubuntu server. So I do run a few things Ubuntu server. This is my second Ubuntu server since this thing was getting crowded up and it's already using that much memory for the services it's running. This is my main web server for Key0NNK.com. This I was supposed, and we were supposed to get a patch into Wacker Link into Discord via virtual cables. So that's what this is for, but currently that is just not working right now. It's, the server is just down. Uh, Wacker Link is down. And I have nothing to do with Wacker Link, it's just my buddy's thing. This is another Muto server that I was running the YSF Reflector on, but then decided that I'm not going to run the YSF Reflector anymore. Because A, I didn't know how to restart it, which I really was just too lazy to figure out how to do that. And B, I didn't really need it in the first place. So these are all my virtual machines. Uh, here running on my server. My server is a HP ProLiant DL360P. 64 gigabytes of RAM right here. With a CPU Intel Exion E52640 at 2.5 gigahertz. So uh, that's the processor I'm using. It has 24 logical processors, 12 cores, and I have two CPUs. So uh, each CPU is 6 cores, 12 logical processors. And this is all running my... Uh, this server basically runs everything that I do when it comes to services. I run everything to be hosted right on the server. Yeah? Alrighty, so this is the home lab and all the thing. This is like part of the Wacker Link logo I just used for the logo. I actually should change that. I probably will. This is my Uptime Kuma page, and it shows me what's up and what's down. I Everything in my home lab is up. Wacker Link, which I did not host or anything, is down. I just have Wacker Link on there to see what the status is. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. You got the internet, it's up and running. My Pi Star hotspot's running. All Star SSH access is running. My Cisco VoIP phone connected to Hams over IP. And Headshot Hotline is connected and running. Here's my Pi hole stuff running. YSF Reflector server, which is that Ubuntu server, Ubuntu server 2, Ubuntu server 1, and Proxmox. Those are all working. We got uh, the all-star node is up and running. My radio is here are up and running. And my Proxmox uh, digital use group, Wacker Link, Zeronuk.com, Calculator, all, all, all of my websites slash uh, web server things for like free PBX and stuff. All right here. So I'm going to edit the status page. There we go. That looks a lot better with my logo there. Uh, this is a calculator project that I copied from Kuma and modified. My main website. Uh, this is. We'll, we'll go to this website here. This was something that I do host on my server, and it's just a landing page for Wacker Link that I have up and running. 
And also, I'm going to show you how I have all my things connected to the internet with a Google Trust Services certificate. All right, so I use a service called Cloudflare, and Cloudflare is a pretty cool thing. A lot of people hate me for saying this. Thing. Oh, Cloudflare is just junk. No, it's just for lazy people that don't want to put Nginx in the cloud. Well, I got two things to take for that. One, this is free. Put something in the cloud, generally speaking, is not going to be free. Number two, you can open, you don't have to open a single port. You can let as many websites go through here without opening a single port. These are my current websites. These two were registered with Cloudflare. Uh, when you buy a domain, from Cloudflare, Let's see Radio Freak, you can get a .com earn from this much, 915. And basically, what they do is all their domains they have are they, they don't they don't make any money if you buy purchase their domain. They don't make a single penny off of it. But when you're paying 915, that is going directly to IANA and then the .com uh, person that owns the .com or company that owns the .com. So I bought these two uh, with Cloudflare, and I bought keyzerodk.com on qth.com, I believe is the website. So this is zero trust, and this is where all the fun stuff is. So you go to access and tunnels. This is where my radio geek stuff is. Where my all-star SSH. Yes, I have SSH open to the internet. But it's on, uh, it's using Brin browser rendered. And in my opinion, it's a little more secure than opening up uh, to the big bad internet. And you don't have to open a port. So you can also have SSH without even have to open a single port too. So. Yeah, this is my, where all my things that I run to the internet go here. Oh, uh, we got website. I'd put www because some browsers use www. Some people type in www. So I put that in there just so people did type www. It would go to www. And all my websites are on my server. Most of them, anyways, are HTTP. But, you notice that this is HTTPS. With a certificate. That's because Cloudflare is using it. And all of this is free. All this is free. And I don't have a single port open to the internet with all of this. I'm using a Cloudflare Argo Tunnel. That's how I'm running it. So, this is my status to Kizuronikita.com. That is my uptime Kuma. This is my pothole dashboard. Free PBX dashboard slash configuration page. This is my Wacker Link website. Calculator website, which basically looks like this. Do simple math with it. That kind of thing. Uh, this is the digital youth group website hosting on my server with a kizuronika.com domain. But All Star, uh, which doesn't go to anything. I just had that open. Oh, uh, we got Proxmox. Dashboard slash configuration GUI, uh, my Pi Star. Which you can actually view this by the way, you can get to my Pi Star. Currently, it's using cross mode to YSF. I uh, just that was my first video I ever did. And yeah, this is all the stuff running on Key0NK.com, and I honestly think it's pretty cool for Cloudflare and that if you're going to be wanting to run websites you can use Cloudflare. I believe that's all I have for the video. I'm just explaining what I run my websites on and uh, what I currently have in my home lab. Like, subscribe, we'll see you next time.